It doesn't matter where you live. If you're in the center of a city, miles away from an ocean, if you're in the center of a continent, every second breath you take is still thanks to the ocean. And it is so important that that ocean is healthy to support life. Hello, I'm Jo Ruxton. I'm the founder of Ocean Generation. What we see is an ocean that's freed from human threats within a generation. We started 12 years ago and focused then on plastic waste and what plastic is doing when it reaches the ocean. We traveled around the world over an eight year period to create a documentary feature film. We went to the centers of the oceans, we went to islands that are so remote and we witnessed that problem around the world. And our goal was to raise awareness and to focus attention onto this problem. So at Ocean Generation, what we want to do now is focus on wider ocean issues and restore a healthy relationship between humanity and the ocean. We're delighted now to be working with guests who are supporting our building of an ocean academy. The Ocean Academy will focus on children aged 5 to 16 and it will bring the ocean into their classroom. The materials will include infographics, they'll include film clips, there'll be worksheets, everything there to engage children in this vital information. We need to bring the ocean back into the classroom. We need children to understand that they are connected to the ocean from the day that they are born. Today we're at Camber Sands on the south coast of Britain and we are going to be cleaning a beach. Now at Ocean Generation we have always focused on prevention rather than intervention but every time a beach is cleaned, however much plastic you remove, whether it's tiny or huge pieces, that is going to be prevented from entering the ocean. Because once it's in the ocean, there are going to be so many problems when it gets into the food chain. And that food chain gets back to us. The other thing with plastic is, once it's in the ocean, it can travel anywhere in the world. We could drop something here or drop something into a drain that finds its way to the ocean, and that could end up in Antarctica, being fed to a seabird chick. Today we're here at Canvas Sands with our friends from Guess, and we're going to be cleaning this beach. If you look at the beach, it actually looks pristine and beautiful. But the biggest problem getting into the ocean is tiny, tiny pieces of plastic that the animals mistake for food. And we'll see them later when we walk along the beach. Once you start noticing them, you'll see just what a problem it is. The kind of things I'm talking about, I've got in this jar here. Now what I've got here is the entire stomach contents from a 90 day old albatross chick, a beautiful seabird. And it would normally be fed with fish and squid, but the parents have found these floating on the surface of the ocean, picked them up and fed them to the baby. And the babies are dying, but their stomachs are full. And yet they're dying of starvation. We're cleaning the beach now, mostly along the strand line where the tide washes up the last of its goodies and uh, what we're finding a lot of is these which are the from the earbuds from the ear cleaners um, they've been banned now you have to uh, sell the ones that are made from cardboard but they're still out there and that's the trouble with plastic all the ones that anyone's ever flushed down the toilet will still be out in the ocean and it will come washing back the other thing we're seeing a lot of is bits of fishing gear this would have been made from natural hemp before but now the nylon is much stronger and it's stronger because it just doesn't go away and it lasts and each of these will fragment into smaller pieces and then there's lots of just little bits of plastic. We've seen lots of bottle caps. I think that's come from a, a bottle cap and this from probably from camping but again it's nylon and that means it's plastic and when it gets into the ocean it'll just keep going and be consumed by the wildlife there. So even though it doesn't look as if our bags are really full we're actually preventing an awful lot of plastic from going into the ocean that would eventually go up the food chain and make its way up to the top predators. And we're top predators too, so everything we're doing today is a good thing. So we're on the beach looking for microplastics in the sand. We're just trying to break the barrier from the shore to the ocean and just trying to limit the amount of plastic that's going into the ocean. It's crazy how many small bits there are and the beach literally seems like it's 
totally clean. So hi guys. Hello, this is Whitney. And this is Irene. And we are here in Conversance. And we are cleaning up the beach with gas. Yeah, and it's actually crazy the amount of plastic and shiny pieces of other ways that we are finding. Like when you look, it looks like there is nothing. But when you start properly looking, there is actually loads of tiny, tiny bits. And, and now that we've finished our beach clean, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone at Guess for supporting our work at Ocean Generation.